Hi, this is Jim Todd with Song Surgeon, and in this week's weekly tip, we're going to cover how to use Song Surgeon with the multi-track songs that are becoming more commonplace on the internet. Let's start by taking a look at just exactly what I mean by a multi-track song. And I have one of them here in my music library. As you can see, uh, this is the song La Bamba, and we have multi-tracks, one, two, three, four, five, six of them here, and many of the services that provide these that I've seen oftentimes provide you with six, eight, ten, even as many as twelve tracks, but you have a guitar track here, acoustic, a bass track, drums, electric guitar, here you have lead guitar, and here you have vocal. So let's say you want to create your own unique mix and you want to provide the lead guitar here and you do not want to use the vocal but you want to use these other four acoustic, bass, drums, and electric guitar. So how can you do that? How can you use these in Song Surgeon when Song Surgeon only opens a single song at one time? Well, let's talk about that and I guess when I say talk about it, let me just simply show you. Let's just start at the top here, select a song open it up. As you can see it opens in Song Surgeon. What we do then is go to Edit. We go Mix Stereo to Mono File. Creates a single mono file. Then what we do next is we go back to Edit. We go to Convert Mono to Stereo and put Mono Audio in either the left or the right channel. It really makes no difference for purposes of this demonstration. So there we have that done. Now let's open a new instance of Song Surgeon. I've got it open here right on top of this first one. File, open. Go back to this multi-track song again. Just open it up here so we can see. So we started with the acoustic guitar. Now let's now open up the bass. There it is. Go to edit. Go to mix to stereo. Now let's just simply copy this okay so I've highlighted it I'm going to do a control C which is a shortcut way and I'm going to minimize this for a second and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to paste this in and it's going to ask me where I want to paste it. Do I want to paste it in the left the right or in both? Well clearly I have the left already populated so we want to put this in the right and the other thing that we want to do is right now it has silence inserted down here so it will to keep what it thinks is the synchronization here it will insert this new data at the end of this song and we don't want it to do that we want it to insert it at the beginning so we need to uncheck this box and we're going to have it inserted at the beginning Go ahead and click OK. And there we go. We have those two pieces of data now. So what we have are the acoustic and the bass now in the same file. So now let's add drums. Let's go ahead and open drums. Here are the drums. Now let's go ahead and mix them down as we did previously. Now let's go ahead and select it. Control C, again a shortcut. Let's go back to the song where we already have the acoustic and the bass. What are we going to do here first? We are going to mix these down. We mix them down. Now we're going to go back and we're going to convert mono to stereo. And again, I don't really care for purposes of what we're doing, which of the channels we put it in. So we put it in the left. Now we're going to paste it. When I say paste it, now we're going to paste the drums that I've just copied. And again, we're going to put this in the right track. And we're going to put it at the beginning. And we are not going to maintain the sync. Go ahead and click OK now because we have it inserting into the right track. And when we do that, it inserts it right there. And you would just continue the same process for additional tracks until you get all of them done that you want. And then the last step, of course, would be that if you want to supply the lead guitar, you go ahead and play the lead guitar and record that. And you can record it in Song Surgeon by using 
uh, the record functionality or you can record it somewhere else and then once you have it recorded you would simply open that up do a mix down and then follow the same procedure that you've seen me follow here on the screen to continue adding these additional tracks to the the same song and then once you've done that you'll have a complete song with that lead guitar track in it so let's just go ahead and listen to this to make certain that as we've done this you know the audio is is completely synced up and it plays as it should <laughs> and it certainly sounds correct. So that will conclude this week's video tutorial and thanks for watching.